If you'd like to save your presentation in a format that ensures that when you print or view a file that all of your formatting will be retained as you intend it, or to make sure that other users can't change the information you've written easily, then PDF or XPS is probably a really good format to save to. Now PowerPoint 2007 in and of itself does not have the capability of saving your presentation as a PDF or XPS, but you can download an add-in to allow PowerPoint to save a presentation as a PDF or XPS. To do that, we want to go up to our Office button and go to the Save As option and just sort of hover our mouse right over Save As. Fourth from the top, you should see an option that states Find Add-ins for Other File Formats. Go ahead and click on that option. What that'll do is launch the PowerPoint Help file. I'm just going to make this bigger real quick. And this help file will talk a little bit about the PDF and XPS file formats. You can read through that. But the important part is underneath the section Install and Use the Save as PDF or XPS add-in from Microsoft. And in order to access this add-in, you do need a working internet connection. But what you want to do is click right on this link right here, Microsoft Save as PDF or XPS add-in for 2007 Microsoft Office programs. Clicking on that link will launch your web browser and take you directly to the download page on Microsoft's website. You will need to be inside Internet Explorer in order for this download to work, so make sure that that launched in Microsoft Explorer. It will not work in Firefox. But what we want to do is go to this download button, click download. You should then receive a file download security warning. Yes, we want to run this file. You might receive a couple more security warnings. Just keep clicking run. Then we want to check that we accept the Microsoft software license terms and click continue. And then you should receive this warning message while Microsoft works this magic and installs your PDF or XPS add-in. When the installation is complete, you'll receive a warning box telling you that the installation is complete. All you have to do is click OK. And going back to PowerPoint, now when we hover our mouse over the Office button and hover it over Save As, now we have this nice new option that says PDF or XPS. And now when we click on that, I'm just going to save this to my desktop, click Publish, and that should open up and save your presentation as a PDF. And that way all of our formatting stays the same and no one can click on anything to change anything. And that's how you create a PDF in PowerPoint 2007. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.